Hi, I'm Eddie Way, and I'm answering some of your questions from Instagram. The quality of the stick is so much better than uh, any other stick I've, I've, I've tried, really. So it just feels solid. It feels like it won't break, and it's got the best touch and feel uh, of any, any hockey stick. I'm 5'9 and a half, uh, and I use a 37 and a half, mainly because I try and uh, make the most of getting a longer stick um, for better levers, so I try and make it help me. But I really think it's just whatever you're used to. Oh, it's like our seven this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. My favorite color scheme, I think this one, the, the white one, uh, is probably the, the best one I have fondest memories of because this is when I was part of the GB under 21s that won the Sultan of Johor Cup. And it was also uh, good because everyone was like, a white stick, are you allowed that? Are you allowed that? And it got so much attention at the time and yeah, it just happened to work for me back then. So I think the white one's my favorite. I probably started playing hockey when I was about 11 at school. So how long is that? 10 years. So I started playing for my school, St Andrews in Woking, uh, and then quickly joined the club Woking straight after, and then I sort of moved through the county teams about then. My fondest memories was playing for Woking under 12s. And we were playing, I can't remember who we were playing, but we had quite a good team back then. And we actually started winning about 20 nil. And so me and a few of the other players had to go on the other team and the keepers had to swap round because one of the keepers was getting too much action and the other one didn't get anything. So the path really starts with your county and I started playing county about 11, 12 years old and then moving into getting to uh, what, what's called the single system back then. So that started with some uh, like regional representation and then you get picked to join the England under 16s if you're good enough and that's basically what I did and then from there it's quite straightforward to go from England under 16s to 18s to the under 21s. So the development squad has been around for I think three years, I'm not quite sure on that, but that is basically the squad below the senior Great Britain squad. So the senior Great Britain squad is where all of the um, teams that go and play Commonwealth Games, Olympics, World Cups, it's, they uh, are in that squad. And then development squad is usually um, between seven, you're 17 to about 23, and it's kind of the feeder squad for the senior, for the senior GB team. We meet up for four days per month on average uh, to train. Um, you also have competitions on top of that. For example, the uh, Sultan of Johor Cup that's on at the moment uh, is for develop the development squad players who are under 21. And then there are tournaments in the summer. I think there's a tournament in Scotland in summer of 2020, which I should be a part of. So it's something that I've really started in the last year. Uh, I My current programme is two gym sessions a week, Mondays and Wednesdays. Uh, a running session on a Tuesday morning at 8 a.m. I'm here on my own. Uh, and then I, this afternoon on a Friday, I usually either run or go for a, a bike session. So that's on top of, that's four sessions on top of the two training sessions and a match a week. So the majority of my time is kind of conditioning and getting my body fit. One of the big things for me at the moment is getting enough protein on board. So when I go from training to a lecture, I quite often have to take a snack or, I hate to say it, but a protein shake. I've actually started doing that now, um, mainly because you need enough protein to, to make the training worthwhile. We get told we have to have 
post training, so post a gym running or training session, you need to have 30 grams within a half an hour. So that is a pint of milk, uh, a chicken breast, three eggs, not all of them, one of those, um, or a protein shake. So that's what I have. And then I have to have that six times a day on average, five or six times a day. I mean, you build muscle for it. And it's not, protein isn't for getting big and getting hench. Protein is to get your calves better so that they won't break uh, the next time you run. <laughs>